guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to talk about my absolutely horrible whack ass the worst boyfriend i've ever had in my entire life like he is the pit he is not shit and i if you ever see this video i want you to know that this is about you like you fucking suck so i'm not gonna say his name in this video because please believe if i could i absolutely would but i'm pretty sure i could get sued for that because it's defamation of character because i'm about to rip him a new asshole right now so i had this ex-boyfriend i had only had two boyfriends in my entire life and the first one i had was probably the worst unhealthiest relationship i've ever had which the more i'm in a relationship with connor the more i realize how unhealthy that relationship is because i'm in a normal relationship now and i'm just like bruh everything was so fucking crazy in my last relationship i didn't even realize while i was in it so we're gonna name my ex mallory because he's a bitch so mallory was six five tall as fuck to the point where we would get stopped in the mall or wherever we go or really the mall because that's the only place we ever went with the mall and he wouldn't take me shopping we were literally just walking anyways he's six five we would get stopped in the mall because people would be like you're so fucking tall like, what the fuck can i take a picture of you are you a basketball player like no he's a not shit nigga he don't do nothing anyways so he was really dark skin like literally hershey's kiss dark skin like i love that it's great i love people with creamy skin like whether it be like really light skin really dark skin i love that shit um and he had like waves just the whole fuck boy look going for him and yeah that's how he looked and he was jamaican like two years prior he just had got his citizenship to america so he was literally straight off the banana boat jamaican so let me tell you why this nigga was not shit so he only took me on one date and the first date, that was the first date we ever been on and he got mad at me on the first date because I actually ate before he took me on a date and I guess he planned on taking me to dinner and um, to make up for it. I wasn't hungry when I got there so I didn't order anything and he was like you gotta order something like I didn't come here for myself for you to look at me eat. So I was like, okay, so I ordered a bunch of stuff and I still didn't end up eating anything. I don't know what he thought, but I didn't order, I didn't eat anything. So I ended up bringing all that food back to my dorm and ate it with my girlfriend. So he got so mad at me because I racked up a bill for like 70, $80. And yeah, like, I don't know what to tell you. They told me to order something. So all that happened. I should have known that he was just a trifling ass nigga when he did that because he guilted me. Like, I don't understand. That was the first date. Like, I should have known. So... Fast forward after that, um, just certain characteristics he displayed that really just should have, like it rubbed me the wrong way, but I let it slide, I don't know why. He never showed affection to me. He never like kissed me really. He never like just did nice things for me. He, whenever he came to visit me, like at my dorm, which he lived like an hour and a half away, he never wanted to leave my dorm. Like he never wanted to go outside with me because he was always scared of being seen. And I was like, why are you being, like he never said he was scared of being seen, but you can tell he didn't want no one to catch him. Because whenever he was outside my dorm, because you obviously have to walk into my dorm somehow, he wanted to be alone. He never wanted to be with me. Because sometimes I'm just like, okay, we can go to the cafeteria and go get some free food. Like I have guest passes, we can totally go eat for free. And he's like, no, no, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay locked up in this room the whole duration of my visit to you. So it was kind of like, what the fuck dude, like this is so stupid. So yeah, he was doing that for a while to the point where he wasn't even coming over anymore. I couldn't come over to him or if I suggested that, he was like, okay, whatever. Okay, I mean, if you want to, if you feel like it. And mind you, whenever he came all the way to me from University of Georgia to Kennesaw State, whenever he came all the way over to me, I had to fill his tank up on the way back. So I was like, I'm not even visiting you. Like, this is so stupid. So I remember one day I was like, do you want me to come over? Like I can, I have a free weekend, I can come see you, whatever. He was like, I guess, whatever, if you want to. And I was just like, I should have took it at that point that I shouldn't come over there, I should have known. But I was like, I was pushing it. I really wanted to see him. I hadn't seen him in like a month. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna come anyway. He's like, okay, whatever, if you want to, I guess, whatever. And I was just like, okay. So I drove all the way over there and um, you know, he didn't want to cook. He didn't want to do nothing. He was just like, he wanted to stay in the room and I had to stay in the living room. And it was just like, what the fuck, yo? Like, dude. And mind you, up in like 
the times that we did see each other before that period he was always on his phone all the time like always on his phone which i'm always like now i'm like really like paranoid like what the fuck are you doing on your phone now what the fuck are you doing on your phone you know so he was always on his phone so when i went to go visit him i was like what the fuck he wanted to stay in the room and i had to be in the living room and mind you i'm 19 at the time so i'm just like uh okay so i went in the room or i think he came out to go talk to me or he went to the bathroom or something he did something and he left his phone out so i got his phone because i wanted i don't know i'm not the type of girl to go through a guy's phone but i was like what the fuck is this on this guy's phone so much so i go on it and the first thing i see mind you my name is not in emojis but this there's another bitch on this that had emojis and her name was anna and yes i'm gonna drag her name to the dirt because i don't like this home anyway so anna she fucking was heart symbol heart symbol um in his phone and i was like okay who the fuck is this anna ho and um i'm like mallory who the no actually i didn't even call him i was like wow okay so i click on the message and i'm reading i'm scrolling i'm reading and my eyes are getting bigger and bigger i'm just like yo what the Fuck. and it's like he's like being lovey-dovey towards her and she's being lovey-dovey towards him and they're saying i love you and basically he was cheating on me so i was like bruh what the fuck i couldn't believe it i was just like yo what the hell i couldn't believe he was cheating on me so i like went into the bathroom i locked my door i guess he had came back in the room and realized i wasn't in the room i was in the bathroom the door was locked and i had his phone and he starts banging on that door like my he's six foot he's strong he's kind of strong he's not that strong but he's skinny but he's tall so i guess that makes him strong and um he's banging on the door like you could if you look at the door you can see like it's about to fall on top of me but i didn't care like i'm just going through the phone i'm just like you're cheating on me and he's like give me my phone back this is an invasion of privacy you know shit fuck boys say when they are caught in the act or whatever and i was like wow you're cheating on me so yeah, he threw a huge tantrum and you never want to see a guy that's 6'5", that's huge as fuck, throwing a tantrum and he's this close to your face, like yelling at you and he's this close to your face like he's about to bite your face off or something. That was probably one of the most scariest experiences I've ever been in my life just because he was like, his voice is so deep already so when he yells it's like, it's an earthquake. So anyways, past that, a little while after that he breaks up with me. Which is weird because I should have broke up with him, but I was like naive and I wanted to work it out, whatever. And yeah, so he breaks up with me and, you know, I'm like, fuck, like, shit. I wish I never went through his phone because we'd still be together. But yeah, I was stupid, whatever. So, fast forward, I meet Connor. I think I'm missing a lot. Hmm. Yeah, fast forward, I meet Connor. He sees that I'm moving on with my life. And, um, because I used to blow up his phone and then... After our breakup, I used to blow up his phone and then I stopped doing that because he stopped answering my phone calls, whatever. But then when I moved on with my life, mind you, we're still Facebook friends, so he can see my activity, whatever. I'm with Connor, we're fresh in our relationship and stuff like that. And he starts calling me again. He's like saying he missed me, this and blah, blah. And I'm not really like caring that much, but I'm giving him the time of day because I knew we were best friends at one point. So I didn't want to like, I didn't have that connection with anyone else here. I was too scared to make it with Connor. So I was going back to my ex for that best friend um, connection, not for anything else. Like I didn't feel that way about him anymore. I just saw him for who he was and he was a coward. That's what he was. And I still tell him to this to this day, even though I don't talk to him, but the last thing I told him when I finished with the story it was that you're a fucking coward and I never want to see you again. Schmack. Anyways, so yeah, so he's like, you know, trying to, you know, relive something, whatever. He's like, maybe we can get back together one day. I'm just like, no, boo. We would never do that. He would call so much to the point where if Connor was right next to me, Connor would be like, is that that dude again? Really? He's really, are you, why do you keep answering the phone call? I'm like, he's my best friend. Like, I don't really know what to tell you, but I got tired of it. I was like, I realized how he was like tearing apart me and Connor's relationship super early in our relationship. So I just didn't want to talk to him anymore. And the phone kept ringing over and over and over again. So Connor answered it and was like, if you call her one more fucking time, I will fucking find you and I will kill you or whatever. Connor says shit like that all the time. Mallory, he laughed. He was like, whatever, man, I want to see you try, whatever. And I'm thinking, no, no, think about it. Connor would fucking kill Mallory. Like he's tall, but he can't fight. He's a not shit nigga, like, 
He can't fight. I remember there's this one time, this one dude that liked me at my old school, he stole my, like the last gift my father ever gave me. Like the last Christmas gift ever, he ever gave me. Like that nigga didn't die. He just not here no more. Like he's just not really in my life like that. So he stole that from me. And I told my boyfriend, Mallory, I was like, please come do something about this. Like, you're 6'5", nigga, you put your advantage to her, something like that. Like, come take my watch back. Like, it was a watch. That was the gift. It was a G-Shock watch when that was popping, whatever. And he was like, huh, I can't do that. I'm not about to go up there and get shot up for your dumb ass, whatever. And I was like, wow, what the fuck? Anyways, so, kind of cursed him out, whatever. Hung up the phone on his bitch ass. And then he called me again, like maybe a couple weeks after, and we got to like a deep combo, whatever. I entered it. I don't know. I was curious, you know. I'm a, like I said, I'm an adventurous thought. I like exciting things. So I answered the phone, and you know, we get into deep conversation. I'm just like, you know, I gotta go. Like this is getting kind of boring, whatever. And he was like, you know what? I got something. I don't know why you're dating that guy. It's like you're dating the slave master. This and that, blah blah blah. All these racial shit. He starts saying it, and I'm just like. My jaw drops because I'm driving and I'm just like Are you serious? Like he's like, yeah, you shouldn't be dating him Like look how stupid y'all look out on the street you dating him like you probably be like an idiot You are an idiot because you're dating this guy. He's like basically putting me down making me feel like shit for dating a white guy and I was like wow like okay Thanks for that input, whatever. And I never talked to him again. Like, I didn't know what to say. I was in shock because at that point, I was not used to people say, telling me things like that, you know? Like, I've heard of it being said, but I've never had that happen to me. So I didn't know what to say, and I just was like, okay, bye, whatever. So, mind you, a couple months after, I have this crazy, 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 crazy dream. The craziest dream ever. And I was like, yo, some stuff is just not putting it together. Like, some pieces are adding up. Mind you, I haven't talked to this guy in such a long time, but I had a crazy dream that kind of enlightened me. And I was like, yo, some things don't add up. Because when you've been cheated on, you try to figure out why did that happen. So I guess I had a dream about it. And I was like, I need to figure out why. Hand me the fucking MTV producer and call me me Max because I went to fucking work. Like I pull in my laptop, I'm typing. I'm typing like I am like trying to get down to it because I'm just like who did he cheat on me with who the fuck is Anna so I go on his Twitter on his Facebook and everything and lo and behold he was cheating on me with a white girl it's not the craziest shit you've ever heard in your fucking life Mallory was telling me how I was dating the slave master I look stupid as fuck because I'm dating a white guy you know I'm the stupidest person in the world because I'm like I'm uh, it's just so, so, so much crap he was telling me and then he was cheating on me with a white girl with a white girl I came down to it because I was going on his Twitter or whatever and he kept like adding this girl and I remember way back when like in Halloween he had put a picture up of this girl like two girls in the club and then him and his friend like two separate pictures two girls in the club and I was like who are these two girls like you never put me on your itch IG like I'm literally not on any of your social medias we don't have each other on Facebook we don't have each other on Instagram like nothing and he has this little white girl up there. So I'm just like, yo, what's up? Like, who is this? At the time, I was like, who is it? He's like, it's just a friend, whatever. So I was like, okay. Like, as an idiot, I'm just like, he has this girl on his Instagram, but not, but not me. Anyways, it's the same girl from Instagram. It's the same girl. I can't believe I didn't think of that. And yeah, so it's the same hoe. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, he literally cheated on me with this chick because she's like, has pictures up of him on Twitter and they're like kissing. And I like, although I had no feelings for him no more, I was so livid because I couldn't believe it. Like, it happened right under my nose. Like, not literally under my nose because he did live like two hours away, but still, this nigga really thought he got away with it. So... <laughs> Me, I was so livid. Like, I was so mad because I finally put the pieces together. He cheated on me with this chick and he had the nerve to tell me I was dating the slave master. And he's literally dating the whitest girl of Kennesaw. And it, real it came to me that he didn't want to leave the dorm room at my school, which is in Kennesaw State, because his girlfriend lived in Kennesaw. Which is so weird. Like, I didn't even understand that part. Like, you literally cheated on me with a girl that wasn't even at your school. She lived in my town. Like, it just was weird. So, 
yeah so i was like yo i should totally the first thing came to my mind i was like i need to i'm not the type of girl to curse another girl out because my man cheated on me with you because it has it probably had nothing to do with you probably don't even know the guy the blame goes to the guy and i was gonna tell her you know he was cheating on you the whole time he was with you boo boo he was with me but what came to my mind was like i need to tell her how fucking racist this asshole is because you literally you i don't know you who you are but you deserve a man that's better than that because look how he thinks of certain people in the world like that's disgusting so i wanted to reach out to her and tell him or tell her that he thinks white people are a slave master like i don't know i didn't know what to say and i don't know why i was like you know i got something better so i called him after i put the pieces together i called him and i was like hey can you come over and he was like yeah i can come over whatever so he came over to my house and um i was like can you walk with me it's like yeah i can walk with you whatever so we come over we're walking whatever and we're talking and i'm like subtly asking him certain questions about our relationship whatever because i think we're cool enough to talk about shit like that right so we're talking about it and then <laughs> before we get to full circle in front of my house i confront him with the biz i was like so you were cheating on me with such and such so you were telling me how I was dating a slave master. Like I went in on him. I wish I recorded it. Like it would have been the best thing ever. Like I went in on him. Like and he was dark skinned, but you can see his face turn red. Cause he was just like so shocked because in his head, he thought he planted seeds in my brain that I would think in the future, like when me, whenever me and Connor broke up that he would get back with me because he was like we not we may not be able to together right now we might not be able to like you know work things out right now because of x you know things that are happening in the world whatever but we will be married one day we will have children one day things like that and i'm thinking no bit like no but he was trying to convince himself that i don't know why he wasted his time so i told him that i guess that's why he didn't want to tell me he was dating someone else like he was still dating her they were still together like why keep up this lie it was so stupid so i told him and i was like yeah i told you ass now get the fuck off my property and he was like get the fuck off your property you told me to come here and i was like oh yeah yeah come here and then i smacked him in the face like i gave him a he's oh, it felt so good like i smacked him right in the face and i was like good now you need to get off my property and i went to i walked to my door you know i'm the scaredest person when you turn your back to someone after you hit them because they could just yank your weed they can snatch your weed you off but i walked away with so much confidence and i turned around and i flipped the door as i i flipped my hair as i closed the door behind me and i felt amazing like it was just fantastic and he was so mad like he was so mad oh my god i wouldn't go oh, i am the type of person that needs to get revenge i'm petty so i need revenge to validate my feelings like i need that and he like totally like he like you know how someone's mad angry driving and they burn tires when they turn around and stuff like that and then he like pew, like off right and i was i wanted to call the police on him I was thinking about like reporting his license plate or something like after domestic violence but i think i was taking it too far like i'm because he could have went to jail and i wish like it just that would have taken it too far but that was very satisfying <laughs> so yeah and i told connor about it connor was pissed like connor he's like a manly man like he doesn't want me to like handle any issues with any men he wants to be the one to handle those issues for me you know i hope you guys enjoyed that one uh, yeah i know people are keep asking me about the boyfriend drag i'm working on it connor is like never in the mood to film so i'm literally just waiting on him um but in the meantime check out our snapchats you'll see plenty of us on snapchat i promise you like you'll see connor mostly pissed off that he's in a snapchat but he will be in the snapchat like i promise anyways and also follow me on instagram a little bit of that and um whatever social media i have tumblr ask me questions on tumblr i love that even if it's like anon like that's fine uh but yeah i guess i'll see you guys next time in the next video peace out